Hi, everyone. Um, we have a special guest with, uh, with us today. Uh, Jay Cormier is here. Um, he's decided to join us. Uh, he's taken time out of his busy schedule to help us out with a little something. So thank you very much for having me, Jay. You're welcome. Having you. um, so Jay is a board game designer based out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, he's worked on uh, many games with his design partner, Sen Fung Lim. And they've designed games such as Junk Art, Akrotiri, Rock Paper Wizard, and Belfort. Uh, so Jay has agreed to join me today for a little uh, board game trivia. Uh, so it's going to be on games that uh, he and Sen have designed. So one of the reasons I wanted to do this was that um, when I'm playing games with a lot of designers, they always make the joke of, oh, you know, I can't remember how to play my game or, you know, <laughs> oh, this was designed so long ago that right. I don't really know how to how to teach it. So I figured, well, why not just do a quiz? We'll ask uh, Jay some questions and we'll see how many of them that we can get, uh, he can get. Okay, here we go. Uh, perfect. So what we're going to do is... Uh, I've, this is still sort of in a testing phase, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, unfortunately, I, I can't put a timer on your end, but I'm going to put two and a half minutes on our end okay, and I'll go. set it up in post so that they can, so that they'll be able to see. And yep. then we'll go through the questions. Um, if any questions you think are wrong, I will, you're the decide, you're the expert. So if I, my <laughs> answers are wrong, I'm going to take your word over mine. All right. So, all right. So we'll get started in three, two, one. Uh, how many phases are there in each round of Rock, Paper, Wizard? Oh, uh, uh, four? Uh, there's five. Ah! Uh, how many spell types are there in Rock, Paper, Wizard? Three. Three, correct. Uh, how many cities are in Junk Art? Uh, Twelve. Correct. In Junk Art, is there any penalty for dropping your active piece? No. Correct. In Junk Art, how many cities make up the World Tour? Three. Correct. How many unique junk uh, how many unique pieces are in junk art? Mm, fifteen or sixteen if you count the base. I'll give you fifteen, that's correct. Okay. For junk art, in the city of Paris, what triggers the end of the exhibition? Uh when Paris is when one player has three or more fallen pieces in front of them. Correct. In the orphan black card game, how many accusations can you make in a turn? Uh one. I've got no limit. Dang, uh, fill in the fill in the blank of this game name. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the blank of us. <laughs> two to four of us. Correct. And this town ain't big enough for the two to four of us. What is the name of the fully fenced in area? Corral. Correct. Oh. What does a silver bar do in this town ain't big enough for the two of us? Allows, uh, allows you to relocate a tile that's not locked in. Correct. What are the names of the three expansions in this town ain't big enough for the two to four of us? Oh, the Miners, 49ers, the... Correct. We don't need no stinking badges. Correct. And something like the... Ah, oh, the Outlaws? I can't remember what they're called. Uh, hired Guns. Hired Gun. Uh, how many players does Akrotiri support? Uh, With one copy. And two. Two, perfect. In Akrotiri, what is the maximum number of resources you can load into your boat in one turn? Three. Correct. In Akateri, what is the conversion ratio from drachma to points at the end of the game? Ten. Correct. In Akateri, how many types of free actions are in the game? Uh, two. Correct. In Akateri, how many drachma does it cost to buy two map tiles with one action? Three. Correct. In Belfort, what is the first tiebreaker when determining the winner? Uh, number of resources. Correct. In Belfort, how many different types of property cards are there? Uh... Ten. Correct. What is the name of the expansion to Belfort? The expansion expansion. Correct. In Belfort, what are the four different... Oh, I'll give you... We'll do the last question as yeah. well. Uh, in Belfort, what are the four different types of resources? Yeah. Wood, stone, metal, gold. Correct. So that was 21 questions that we managed to get through. I'll have to do a little quick math just to see... Yeah, I think uh, I got a few wrong first. Not as many... You got most of them right, though. So it'll be one... <laughs> Um, let's see here. The orphan black one wrong. Number Dude. phases in Rock, Paper, Wizard. Yeah. Uh, uh, the names of the three expansions. So I think that was right. only three. So you got 18 out of 21 questions, okay. correct? All right. So bring it, That was Sam. pretty good. Bring it. <laughs> so I actually, I wanted to ask something. Um, yeah. I should have asked before we did the, we sure. did the 
quiz, but in terms of the design work that you and Sen do, is everything sort of divided evenly, or do you sort of take, uh, you know, certain aspects one person is more in charge of than the other? There's, it changes from things, well, there are certain aspects. I'm, generally, I'm the one that is responsible for creating the uh, prototype art assets. To, okay. So I have uh, a Corel Draw is the program I use, uh, which right, I'm just right. comfortable and familiar with, and so I make all the iterations to it. Um, we both are, you know, responsible for coming up with ideas, brainstorming, and that kind of stuff. Uh, Send usually the more of a wordsmith when it comes to everything from rules to um, uh, even the flavor text or even the wording of cards. He's a he's a better wordsmith. Okay. Uh, did you do you think either player, either person, has the advantage based on a type of quiz like this, or it'll be pretty close? Yeah, I think it'll be pretty close. I think it'll be pretty close. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how Sen does. Okay, well, I'll be seeing Sen this uh, weekend at Breakout Con, cool. so I'll let you know how it goes. And yeah. uh, thank you so much for your time and joining us. No problem. You're welcome. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Hey, everyone. Uh, we are here at Breakout Con 2018, and we are with... Sen Fung Lim. <laughs> so, uh, Sen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so, Jay's already done this, and he's told you to bring it. Oh, oh, okay. I don't even know what you're going to ask me, but it's, it's brought. It's brought? It's perfect. Brought. Perfect. perfect. Okay. So, I'm going to give this to you, actually. So, we've got a timer. We're going to let Sen hold on to this. Okay. You can hit start when you're ready. That'll right. just help you keep track of uh, okay. uh, with, uh, how much time you have left to answer. Questions. Okay, we have two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Yes. Okay. Yep. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, whatever. Well, you just, just give me a countdown and just hit start. All right, three, two, one, go. How many phases are there in each round of Rock, Paper, Wizard? Phases? phases, phases. Oh, jeez. Uh, three. Uh, five. Oh, jeez. Uh, how many spell types are there in Rock, Paper, Wizard? Three. Correct. Uh, how many cities are in Junkrat? Oh, you like like the like the base version? Yeah, yeah, base version. Oh, like 14? Uh, 12. Ah! In Junkrat, how many, what is, in Junkrat, is there any penalty for dropping your active piece? No. Okay. Uh, correct. How many unique junk uh, pieces are in Junk Art? Fifteen. Correct. In, for Junk Art, in the city of Paris, what triggers the end of the exhibition? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, when, uh, when five or more pieces have fallen? Three fallen pieces. Ah! In, or in the Orphan Black Card game, how many accusations can you make in a tournament? One. Uh, there's no limit. Really? Fill in the blank really? of this game name. This town ain't big enough for the blank of us. Two to four. Correct. And this town is big enough for the two to four of us. What is the name of the fully fenced in area? A corral. Correct. What does a silver bar do when this town is big enough for the two to four? Uh, it allows you to move a tile that hasn't been connected to another corral yet. Correct. What are the names of three of the three expansions that this town is big enough for the two to four of us? Oh God. Uh, minor, minor, forty niner. Uh, is it the good, the bad, the ugly? No. I can't remember that. Okay. It's okay. How many players does Akrotiri support for the base copy? Two. Perfect. Uh, correct. In See, that's an easy Akrotiri, question. Akrotiri, what is the maximum number of resources you can load into your boat in one turn? Three. Correct. In Akrotiri, what is the conversion ratio from drachma to points at the end of the game? Five to one. Ten to one. In oh, Akrotiri, yeah, right. how many types of free actions are there in the game? Two. Correct. In Akrotiri, how many drachma does it cost to buy two map tiles with one action? Two map tiles with one action? Oh, uh, three. Correct. In Belfort, what is the first tiebreaker when determining the winner? Oh, my word. Um, number of resources? Correct. In Belfort, how many different types of property cards are there? Twelve. Ten. What is the name of the expansion oh, yeah. to Belfort? The expansion expansion. Correct. In Belfort, what are the four different types of resources? Uh, wood, gold, uh, metal, and stone. Correct. What is the objective in But Wait, There's More? Objective? Yes. Oh, uh, points? But, I mean, to, to tell the best pitch? Correct. Is there still time left? In Tortuga, how many different action, action spaces are there? Oh, jeez, there's 12? Five. Five! <laughs> in Tortuga, list the order in which five actions are resolved. How will, how will I tell this? Oh, I don't know. Do we run out of time? We probably ran out of time. <laughs> I think we ran out of time. I will have to do a bit of math. Okay, we'll just we'll just say that's the amount of time you had. We'll okay. Just uh, oh no, it says two minutes and. I think that we we made a little error. It looks like it's counting up. Oh, you know what else it looks like? It looks like it's doing like yeah. two hours and twenty 
six minutes. Oh, uh, okay. So, well. We have a lot of time left. We actually timed it pretty well. We actually started looking at it at about, well, we gave you, yeah, we actually looked at it at about roughly two and a half. All right. So, it works out pretty well. We gave Sun a little extra time. Yeah, but Jay probably killed me on this, because he remembers these types of things more than I do. Unfortunately, I think he did. Oh, yeah. So, I don't, I don't, I don't. 20, so, so, you answered 23 questions. And yeah. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wrong. So, that put you at 15. Uh, Jay got 18. In how many? In, I think, 21. Oh. So, uh, so he did less, but he was more correct. So I'm better at answering more questions. Awesome. I guess so. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for taking part in this. Awesome.